The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Universal Women's Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. First ever women's Hell in a Cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. Introducing the challenger from Australia, Reed Young Rip Lee. Introducing the champion from the Queen City, she is the Universal Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Stay right where you are, people. These two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. What a stomp. Good grief. Technique. 
in position for a power bomb. And that's not a good place to be, Cole. Got to make a move here. Yeah, the longer this goes on, the greater the chance of escape. The champion into the cover. And only a one count. That would have been a shocker. You've got to believe this one's over. Head scissors applied. Ooh, oh, look at this. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Surprise, Michael. Comes up big with the reversal. Caught. There it comes. Neck breaker. Ouch. The champion into the cover. You're not going to win any matches that easily. Gonna take more than that. The main roster was introduced to Charlotte Flair as one of the members of Team PCB with Paige and Becky Lynch. On that very night, the women's revolution kicked off as two other NXT stars joined the main roster and turned the WWE women's division upside down. I have to go back to Team PCB for a second. They had two rival factions with plenty of talent, Team Bad and Team Bella. But PCB won most of those battles. All three teams dissolved before long, and Paige founded a new faction since then. But Paige, Charlotte, and Becky may be the most talented women's trio ever. What are we going to see here? Oh, a neck breaker! The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. Byron, we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. The champ comes into this match incredibly motivated, though all the motivation in the world might not be survived, and this cage match is in the books. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Steel cage matches never fail to surprise and amaze. Man, this was great. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here is your winner, and still, Universal Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. This was a much needed win. 
That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. And it's matches like this.